Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to take a dive into one of the most iconic games in the history of RPGs, Diablo 2. Developed by Blizzard North and released by Blizzard Entertainment in 2000, Diablo 2 is a game that has stood the test of time. Despite being over two decades old, it still holds a special place in the hearts of gamers around the world. So, let's delve into the world of Sanctuary. Now, to begin, I'm going to keep things relatively brief. There are a truly enormous amount of deep dive videos that you can watch that could be an hour or more in length, so that will give you all the nitty gritty details. Here, I want to just touch on some key points. So without further ado, let's begin. First of all, gameplay. Diablo 2's gameplay is a masterclass in design. The game offers a perfect blend of simplicity and depth. The point and click interface is something that makes entry into the world quite easy, but beneath the simplicity lies a complex system of character progression, itemization, and skill trees. On a quick aside, I can't tell you how many mice that I've been through in my tenure with the game. It is still to this day the only game I've played that has actually ruined the left click on my mice. Anyway, the game's combat is fast-paced and visceral, with a satisfying sense of impact that makes every swing of a sword or blast of all your spells feel powerful. The game's difficulty scales smoothly, providing a steady challenge that will keep you on your toes without ever feeling unfair or typically too easy. Diablo 2's gameplay is all about choice. You can choose to rush through the game, focusing on the main quests and ignoring the side content, or you can take your time exploring every nook and cranny of the game's vast world, at least vast by 2000 standards. You can choose to play solo relying on your own skills, or you can team up with friends and tackle the game's toughest bosses together. The choice is yours, and each choice you make will shape your experience in unique and interesting ways. If any of this gameplay loop sounds familiar, that is because many other games have replicated it in the years following. I would like to personally state that I have found Grim Dawn to be the most Diablo-like gaming experience since. Let's move on. The story in Diablo 2 is another aspect that sets it apart. The game's lore is rich and immersive with a dark and haunting narrative that perfectly complements the game's grim aesthetic. The gothic atmosphere that started in Diablo 1 is expanded in this game, and plenty of blood and guts riddle the landscapes. The story is told through a series of quests and cinematics, which are beautifully cla uh, crafted, I should say, and full of memorable moments. The game's world sanctuary is a place of great beauty and great danger, filled with a variety of locales that range from the windswept deserts of Loot Galane to the hellish landscapes of the Burning Hells. The story of Diablo II is a tale of heroes and villains, of gods and demons, and of sacrifice and redemption. It's a story that pulls you in and keeps you engaged from start to finish, with twists and turns that keep you guessing and moments of triumph that make you feel like a true hero. It's a story that, even after two decades, still resonates with people all around the world. Each of the seven classes in Diablo 2 offers a unique play style. From the brute strength of the barbarian to the mystical powers of the sorceress, each class has its own strengths and weaknesses, adding a huge layer of strategy and replayability to the game. The game's skill tree allows you to customize your character's abilities to suit your play style, with a wide range of skills and spells to choose from. Whether you prefer to charge headlong into battle, rain down spells from afar, or summon minions to do your bidding, Diablo 2 likely is a class that's perfect for you. Each class in Diablo 2 has a unique set of skills and abilities, and each skill can be upgraded and improved as you level up. By the way, the level cap is 99, and that level is really only reserved for bragging rights, as you can be plenty powerful 10 to 20 levels below that. 
Either way, this allows you to tailor your character to your preferred playstyle, whether that's a tanky barbarian who can soak up damage, a nimble assassin, or a powerful necromancer who raises the dead to fight for him. The depth and variety of the class system is one of the things that makes the game so replayable, as each class offers a completely different gameplay experience. Though there are meta builds throughout the game, every class can become very powerful and more importantly every class is fun to play. There's certainly something for everyone here and many of the archetypes that Diablo 2 has mastered have blended into many other games moving forward. Diablo 2's itemization and loot system is in many ways the heart of the game. The thrill of finding a rare or unique item is a feeling that's hard to match. The game's loot is mostly randomly generated, which means that every item drop is a roll of the dice. You never know what you're going to get. We all know about RNG, or random number generator, but this element of randomness adds a layer of excitement to the game, as every monster slain could potentially drop a powerful new weapon or piece of armor. Nothing is more satisfying to me than struggling to clear an area only to get a new drop that makes what you were struggling with five minutes ago trivial. It really adds a sense of accomplishment after your hard work grinding for loot pays off. The loot in the game is varied and interesting with a wide range of weapons, armor, and accessories to find. Each item has its own set of stats and bonuses and Finding the perfect combination of gear for your character is also a very rewarding challenge. The game also does feature a variety of unique and set items, which offer powerful bonuses and can dramatically change the way you play the game. On to online and multiplayer, which is an enduring appeal. The game was one of the first to feature a robust online mode allowing players to team up with friends or strangers from around the world to tackle the game's challenges together. This added a whole new dimension to the game, as players could trade items, share strategies, and work together to defeat the game's toughest bosses. Not to mention the uber boss runs, which were essentially beefed up raids at the time, where you take down a boss like Uber Diablo, for a chance at a super rare item such as the Annihilus Charm, which only dropped from the boss and offered significant buffs to your character. This kind of thing alone brought the community together. But that wasn't it. The online mode also introduced a sort of competitive element to the game, with player versus player combat and ladder rankings for the most dedicated players. This added an extra layer of challenge to the game as players could test their skills against each other in battles. And even today, the game's online community is active and thriving, with players still teaming up to tackle the game's challenges and compete for the top spots on the ladder. Last but not least on this topic, we can't talk about Diablo 2 without mentioning its modding community. Over the years, fans of the game have created a wide range of mods, adding new content, tweaking game mechanics, and even overhauling the game's graphics. These mods have added countless hours of additional gameplay and have kept the game fresh and exciting for many players. I could create entire videos just on the median mod, which is essentially a more hardcore Diablo experience that is so different from the base game it can be truly classified as its own game at this point but I digress. The community around Diablo 2 is one of the most passionate and dedicated in the world of gaming. From the forums and fan sites to the modding community, and the players still battling it out in the game's online mode, the community is a big part of what makes Diablo 2 so special. It is a game that has brought people together, fostered friendships, and created countless memories. Ultimately, Diablo 2 is a game that has stood the test of time. Its blend of engaging gameplay, rich lore, and deep character customization has set a standard that few games have been able to match. Whether you're a veteran gamer looking to relive some fond memories, or a newcomer experiencing the game for the first time, 
Diablo 2 is a game that offers a unique and unforgettable experience. So, thank you for joining us on this dive in Diablo 2. Whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer to the series, we hope that this video has given you a deeper appreciation for this iconic game. As always, thank you for tuning in and happy gaming.